Well, it's been 100 days since Barack Obama was sworn in uh, back in late January of 2009. And it has been a seamless integration of all of the uh, elites uh, programs that were being carried out under George W. Bush. It's now all being actually expanded uh, through Obama. But because Barack Obama has left cover uh, and supposedly comes from the opposite party as the Republicans, the Democrats, uh, some of the public is still fooled, though his approval rating numbers have dropped in most polls by about 20 points. So people are starting to see through his lies. Uh, and what happened a few weeks ago when the Congress was trying to do an investigation, a Nuremberg-type investigation of the White House uh, on record ordering the brutal torture of individuals for uh, false confessions, Barack Obama blocked the Congress from trying to investigate that and has done everything he can uh, to cover those crimes up for President Bush. America could get its good name back, uh, like Germany got its good name back, uh, after World War II, uh, if we would simply punish the people that were involved in this. And he said he wouldn't hire any lobbyists. All Obama did was hire lobbyists. He said he would bring all the troops home immediately. Then it was 16 months. Then it was 23 months. Now he's saying he's going to keep troops there, uh, at least 50,000 indefinitely, doubling the troops in Afghanistan. He claims he's fighting corruption on Wall Street and the uh, bonuses from bailout money. Turns out he signed the executive order for the bonuses and told Senator Dodd to write the bill so that those bonuses would be given uh, to those corrupt uh, oligarchs heading up some of the brokerage firms and banks. I mean, Barack Obama is attacking free speech in this country. He's setting up uh, Nazi-style or literally Soviet or Maoist-style youth brigades and tattletale squads. I mean, it's like waking up in the novel 1984. Uh, he is really attempting to take over, and he's appointing all these... Uh, different people that uh, to government that don't believe in free speech, that don't believe in net neutrality, uh, that are uh, calling for restricting all sorts of freedoms. And now we've gotten the, and, and this is most important, the federal report he had written and issued, uh, the Homeland Security report that we actually broke uh, that's made national news here, saying that returning veterans are the real terrorist and the real terrorist threat to the government. And I guess they are because the government's rogue and illegitimate and engaging in treason. And that gun owners, veterans, conservatives, people buying guns and ammunition are the number one threat to this country. So it's just outrageous. Uh, he has shown himself to uh, literally uh, to be an enemy of the republic, the enemy of what the United States has truly stood for. And uh, Barack Obama is a would-be dictator. But I believe people are getting wise to him. And just as I exposed George Bush, we are now exposing Barack Obama. Uh, he is the elite's desperate gamble to con the people into going along uh, with their criminal system. So his first 100 days have been horrible. He was worse than we even thought he would be. Uh, all our predictions have been proven in spades. Uh, but the good news is people are becoming wise to him very quickly. He still has, though, about 35% of the public that will buy anything he says or does. And now they've said, oh, I guess Obama won't buy me a new house or car. I guess all my problems aren't solved. But I've psychologically invested in him, so I don't care what he does bad to me. I still love Obama. So uh, there are some people out there uh, who are kind of like Mao Zedong supporters. They just don't care.